Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face glam. I'm super excited. I've got a few new products that I'm going to try out with you guys um, and a few of my current monthly favourites. Um, yes, let's get into it. I always have to fluff up my fringe to do my makeup so I get access to my whole face. I've already moisturised my face um, using my usual Bondi Sands SPF 50 and my, my usual staple skincare products. So I'm going to go straight into priming now. And I've been using for the last few days this NARS Soft Matte Primer and it's so lovely on. Like it really, like it doesn't, I thought the matte primer would be a bit more like, you know how it's a bit dusty if that makes sense. Not dusty but they feel very powdery. It's very moisturising but I think it just gives you like a nice smooth base and just like a poreless kind of finish um so yeah i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that it's kind of like a moisturizer like on its own i feel like i could easily use this as a moisturizer and feel quite all right with it i thought i'd zoom you guys in a little bit so we can get a closer look at the skin because i'm going to be putting on my face products and i kind of want you guys to be able to see it as properly like as clear as possible i love doing like the same kind of makeup every single time um and I feel like probably you guys are all the same as me and end up kind of going for a very similar kind of makeup every time. And it's always nice to just switch up a little bit. So I'm going to go for like a party glam feel today. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a new eyeshadow palette. So I tried this out yesterday in a creative look. So I only used the dark shades like the brown and the black, but I've not delved into the rest. I kind of swatched the light shade on my hand and got a bit of foundation in it, but... I've not used it properly yet. Um, it's the Navela Secret Palette. Um, it's so pretty as well. Um, but when we look inside, it's just oh, so stunning. The colours are so vibrant as well. But I'm really looking at the dark shades for my smoky and then maybe uh, dabbling in some of the shimmer shades. So, yeah. Let's give it a go. That pink is really speaking to me. That one there. I'm going to take the shade Ghibli, Ghibli, I don't know what that says, um, it's a lighter brown shade in the palette, I'm going to knock the excess off and just use that as a bit of a transition shade, just to warm up the eyes, just lightly dusting it on in the corners, I really want to create like a warm look, because it's winter <laughs> and it's cold. Taking this small detail brush, I'm going to go in to the shade Mia Culpa, that's the brown shade, um again knocking the excess off and we just want to start tapping that in the corner and i only want to put on like a little bit on the brush so we can just build the shade um and sweeping it around the bottom a little bit but kind of focusing on the corner i'm going to go in again with that transition shade and just use that to really buff out that dark shade so it's not too dark before I add the shimmer to my eyelid, I want to just define my eyeline a bit with this little brush and the black shade in the palette. I want to see how intense that smoked out corner will be. And then I'm going to take that brush and add a bit of brown to it just to use that to diffuse the black and really buff that out. I was going to go with the red, but I feel like the blue would be just such a nice contrast. Oh, I don't know. Because this is the problem I have when I'm going out, so that's why I end up going with the same thing over and over again. I'm going to go for pink and gold. So I'm going to go for the shade Big Experience. Okay, I'm going to put pink in the middle, uh, in the centre, and then gold in the corners because the lightest shade it's always best to go in the corner to really open your eyes oh my goodness that is stunning i'm sorry can we talk about this color payoff right now like ooh. then we're gonna go in with this brush and go into the shade I think the shade Hypersensual is quite nice. It's like a goldy pinky, it's like champagne-y kind of shade. I'm gonna dab it in the corners. That's nice, I feel that's a nice subtle transition. I'm gonna take that brown shade again 
and just use that to really buff out all of this and just blend it all together I'm just gonna go in my waterline with the YSL crush liner and this is in the shade brown um, this is the liner it's actually a really nice liner um, and I've only just recently started using brown liners on my waterline I used to always just use black but this is like a really nice middle shade um, where you've like defined your waterline but without doing too much um, it doesn't look like you've got like loads of makeup on so I kind of like to use it when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup kind of look or want to go for a bit more of a natural uh, makeup glam that isn't this but I just really love the brown line I think it's just like a nice sort of way of defining your eyes I'm going to go and put a little bit of this shade this kind of like lilac -y, pinky shade just under my eye um i just like to carry the look down if i can and it will kind of all work well when i've got my concealer on because it'll be lighter and quite clearly then you'll be able to see that i should have under my eye i'm taking that brown shade and just defining the corners ever so slightly going in with the brown liquid liner now it's the huda beauty life liner quick and easy i have been loving this liner recently it's so easy to apply and it's just a nice alternative from black liquid liner um very like autumn winter vibes and I don't know, I just love the way it looks. It's like, oh, she's got liner on, or has she? <laughs> and I feel like it goes really nice with these colours as well. That line is a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be. But we're going to go with it. We're going to go in now with skin tint. We're going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. Now, I have been using this for the last week, and I have to say I do really like it. It's super, like, thin on the skin. Well, depending on how you put it on. Um, but yeah. I really like it. My shade is shade 78. Um, and yeah, I find it's a really, really nice skin tint. Um, the only complaint I have is that it is a little bit oily. So I feel like uh, it works all right for me because I have um, like combination skin. But I feel like if you already have oily skin, this might not be the product for you. Um, just because it I think if you put in just a little bit too much it does go from like really nice and silky to just like really oily um but other than that i have no like actual complaints it's just such a nice little like coverage oh i forgot to put color corrector on my scarf i've got a little then that spot from the other week like it's now healed but it's kind of left a little mark and i'm just trying to like cover it whenever I do my makeup. I'm using the faux filter colour corrector from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Papaya. It's actually a really nice colour corrector and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have not used colour correctors properly before. Like I've had so many like been sent to me but I've never really gone ahead and used them properly because I've always been like oh, I don't think I'll ever need it. Then lo and behold here comes a day that I do actually need it. So it's quite a nice one, it's like a concealer and like a liquid blush vibes. I don't know how to explain it, but it is very nice. Um, just going over this bit last. But it does cover like little marks and scars quite well. I probably should have left it on for an extra few minutes just to dry, but it is what it is. Just look at how nice my skin looks with that. It's like just like a nice silky smooth look, but you can tell that if you did put a bit too much on, it would give you like too much oil uh but it is a very nice glowy product and i just love it especially when you don't use like too much now i'm going in with cream contour um i'm going in with the juvia's place cream contour um and this is in the shade amber um and you know what's funny is that before this came out i did not use a cream contour i just used powder contours um because the cream contours i had were a little bit too dark and like ashy looking this one is like perfect it's like the exact shade of the powder duos that they do um, and i'm obsessed with my powder duo um just look at that smooth. it's so buttery that's the only way i can think of it it's just a buttery based and it's just so nice why is it coming up focusing there we go 
I'm going to do my forehead as well. There's very well point doing my forehead because you can't really see it, but I don't want to leave it out. I don't want to make it feel left out. <laughs> Using the Lancome concealer again, I'm going to place this under the eyes um, and just a little bit under the eyes. Around the mouth and then across the jawline just to define our cheekbones. Using my Chloe Cosmetics Beauty Blender that no longer looks like that because it's very brown. Um, just using that to blend out. I swear next time I do a video, my sponges will be clean. <laughs> it's just every time I come to it, I will already like wash them and then ended up using them again. So it looks like I never clean my brushes. I do, I do clean them, I promise. <laughs> Gonna use the Juvia's Place blushed blushes in the shade Poppy. P perky poppy and marigold i've been using these together recently and they look so nice together um and like i said with these before they're very pigmented you don't need a lot but um again if you want to go for like a super blushed look then go crazy um but i like to use the two shades together i like mixing them up just because they always look so pretty um, and they blend out like a dream. It looks like it's part of your skin tone. Look at that. Seconds and it's blended. You know what I mean? I just want to zoom you guys in so you can see what this makeup is looking like. It's not been set yet, but here is the makeup without being set. This is with studio light and then if I turn off my studio light, you guys can see what it looks like in natural light. I feel like these products work together really well and just give you like a really buttery like finish. Um, yeah, I'm really, really liking them together today. I'm going to use a new powder today to set my under eyes, which I'm a little bit scared about, but I'm just going to try it anyway. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion Powder. <laughs> that was long um this is what it looks like um it's kind of like a banana -y shade so i'm going to take my trigwell cosmetics powder puff and try it out i'm a little bit scared because i haven't used a set powder under, for under my eyes for a while like just a set powder um but let's see how it works i can't tell what it's gonna look like It's actually quite nice. It's not like, yeah, it's not cakey at all. It's just nice and smooth. Look at that. It's really, really mattifying as well. And I didn't use a lot. She says she goes in for a second dip. <laughs> Let's try this eye now. I'm intrigued. and see what we're working with how nice I am pleasantly surprised by that to be honest with you this I'm gonna give like a solid 9 out of 10 just because I've tried a few pressed powders recently to lighten under your eyes and to set under your eyes but they don't have the same like sheerness to, as this this has a really nice sheer finish and doesn't leave you looking lighter than you are it just adds to the lightness of your concealer whereas uh for example the holly boone cosmetic h b cosmetics um powder that comes with their setting powder their setting powder is 10 out of 10 and i do love the brightening powder but I wouldn't use a brightening powder on its own because it is so bright and not as thin and seamless as this that I feel like it would look way too heavy on its own. Like I feel like I'd need to use a certain powder first that was finer. Um, so yeah, this is beautiful. I am obsessed and that is going in my everyday makeup drawer. <laughs> I'm going to use this now. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Now I've used this before, but I, I like it. I don't love it. It's not i don't know if it's because it's not my exact right shade it's just a little bit dark for me you can't really tell on camera but it's a little bit dark for me so it does kind of i don't know 
not look as nice but i'm gonna put it on with this fan out contour brush and see if it makes any difference um just brushing up to the hairline it's very defining that's the good thing you need like a sweep of it you don't need a lot at all And I'm just gonna go across my jawline with it. I love this brush because it kind of like just forms the contours of your face. Like you just easily, you know what I mean? It's very like a quick, easy bronzer brush on the forehead, and then a little bit on the nose. I'm getting closer and closer to putting makeup on my nose piercing and I'm scared. Before I do forget, I'm just gonna add that mascara to my bottom lashes. Not a lot. Oh, I always get scared to touch my skin. I don't know, I always end up doing it. My lashes have grown quite a lot. Lovely job, I've just realised I'm using a lot of Charlotte Tilbury today. Who is she? But I'm going to go in with the Glow Gasm Face Palette. Now I've tried this and I love it. When I tell you I love it. I am ready to replace all of my powder blushes for this blush. Um, this is the beauty in question. This is the shade I used last time and the shade I'm going to use again today. And I kind of mixed it with that a little bit, but mostly that shade. And honestly, I'm just going to put it on. I'm not even going to try and justify it to you. I'm just going to put it on just so you guys can see. Just a little swirl. Nothing much, just a little swirl. And... When the highlighter hype was happening, I was all over it. I was one of them gals where I was putting streaks and stripes over the face, big hole, you know, barely blending it out because it's got to shine. <laughs> Obviously, we've moved on from that stage. Um, but I love highlighters, but I don't like it when it's too bright now. So I'll tend to avoid a lot of highlighters because I'm like, oh, it just doesn't pay off well on my skin. Like, I think... A lot of my girls can relate, my lot of melanin sisters can relate, like it is not giving what it's supposed to give a lot of highlights. It just look a little streaky on us and make us look ashy. This just adds to the glow. Like, has she got highlight on? Hasn't she? It just I'm obsessed with this. Remember the name. Glowgasm. You know what I mean? For lips now I'm going to try the Revolution Makeup Revolution Lip Liner in the shade Stiletto. Um, I get very excited when I find a brown lip liner because there's just not a lot on the market that work for us. Um, so yeah, I'm just defining the lips and see if this is something I like. Mm. It's not giving I'm disappointed. This will look great on a lighter girl, but it's not my sh it's literally exactly my shade. I wanted it darker. And to be fair, it looks darker <laughs> on the end, it's like it's like a light brown. Um No. <laughs> if you have a similar complexion to mine, if you are my shade and you want a lip liner that's darker, don't get this one. Go for a darker one. I'm going to go back to my usual lipstick. I'm going to go back in with my Juvia's Place Cocoa lipstick. And this is how much I need. We need dark lip liners. Brands, we need dark lip liners. I've got the nub left. Like, the nubs. <laughs> the nubs. <laughs> And bear in mind, you do have a really good lip liner in this shade as well, but I also have used it. <sighs> I've been loving that lipstick and then the NYX Professional Makeup Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream with it. It just looks so nice. It's so like, it's just a perfect nude. Um, and I like to wear it with or without lip gloss. I'm going to wear it with that today. 
uh, but in the middle it's just such a pretty shade. And that is the finished makeup guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this party glam. I feel like it's like a really nice subtle party glam. It's not too heavy. The eyes are giving colour. It's like a nice pop. I am going to talk to myself and talk myself down and make sure I do this as well. Because I just don't. I don't go out in this. It's like really sad because it's such a really nice look. And I've got to go and take it off now. So when I next go out. I am going to be wearing this look and I hope you guys do too. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed watching me create this glam. I will list all of the products below that I used, including that beautiful blush. Like, you know what? You know one of the things where you use a product and you forget how nice it is? Like, damn. I know this video is a little bit shorter than the rest, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me next, what any products you'd like me to try. And let me know if you do try this makeup look as well. I love you guys loads. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye.